here with UFC middleweight Mark Munoz. You're, you're really seeing a resurgence down at middleweight. I mean, your only loss was at 205 pounds, but you moved down, and now you're 2-0, and and you got a fight coming up with Kendall Grove on April 10th in Abu Dhabi. Tell us about that fight. You know, Kendall's got a big name uh, coming off the Ultimate Fighter. He's been in the UFC for a while. How do you feel going in there with the spider? Oh, man, it's it's going to be an honor to fight him. You know, um, you know, I, I I got a lot of respect for him, and and um, you know, it's it's about it's about the the fights now. You know, it's it's about the matchups. You know, and we match up really well. You know, I think when we go out there, we're going to put on a good show. So um, I feel great. I feel really good. I feel that I'm improving every time I step into the cage and. I'm training really hard, man. I'm training now, and I'm about eight and a half weeks away, so it's, it's, I feel amazing right now. What, what was your, in your last fight, what was the main thing you took away from it? Because it was a, a dominating performance, you know, an emphatic finish, and it was seen uh, by a lot of people at, at UFC, uh, was it 108? Was it 108? Yeah. Uh, what I took from it was that uh, I improved my stand-up. You know, I wanted to show everybody that I improved my stand-up, and um, I showed it, and... You know, with 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 my covers and with my um, with my stance and how I was throwing my combinations. You know, I, I you know I've been solely working on my stand up. You know, and and that's what I want to work on. You know, now it's now it's like weaving those things together. You know, thus mixed martial arts. You know, so you know I want to put everything together. But you know, I'm never gonna forget who I am, and I'm a wrestler. You know, so, you know, I love the ground. It's no secret that I do love the ground. So, you know, I'm gonna put everything together, improve on my stand up, and. Uh, keep improving for every fight. Now, you're a very dedicated family man, and in fact, that's why you didn't really start mixed martial arts right off the bat. Um, talk about the the challenges you've had, in, you know, in these two camps, coming off one of these wins, and the sacrifices you've had to make to to make sure that your family is going to be uh, they're going to have you around as well. Yeah, th the whole reason why I started fighting was I saw the flexibility um, a lot of the fighters had. You know, one being Uriah. You know, I look up to Uriah. He's a great role model to me. He got he actually got me into the sport and. And, um, you know, he's ever going to he's going to be one of my best friends, you know, from, you know, until the day I die, you know. But, you know, I saw I saw what I was doing for him. And, you know, he said that I can have the same thing. And I trusted him, you know. And, um, and so I hopped into it. And, um, you know, he was like a big little brother to me, you know. So he kind of he brought me through it. And, you know, now that I'm doing it, you know, on my own and, you know, he's still helping me out. You know, it's, it's great, you know, and and um, I the reason why I did it too is again the flexibility in my schedule. I can I can plan around my time now and uh, spend time with my kids when I need to. And um, you know my 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 wife is heavily involved in my marketing and promotions of, of myself. So so it's great, man. It's good. So, so fighting is a family affair for you. It's a family affair, man. So we just opened up a gym um, in Lake Forest, and my whole family's there. So you know it's great. You know I, it's it's. Uh, daddy daughter daddy Sunday every day and you know my wife's there to help me out so it's great man um, I, I can't be I can't be uh, more blessed so as I mentioned Kendall Grove has a you know pretty big name in the UFC he's very popular among the fans the UFC di middleweight division seems wide open right now you know Chael Sonnen just uh, knocked Nate Marquardt a little down the ladder a little bit do you, do you want to rush your way into a title shot or do you just want to keep growing as a fighter until you feel you're ready well you know I'm a new fighter right now and um, you know, I'm, I'm going to take what the UFC gives me, you know, and I'm, I'm going to show that I'm going to improve every time I step into the octagon. So, you know, right now for me, I, you know, it's, it's about improving every time. So if they give me, you know, um, uh, you know, a class A fighter, you know, hey, it's, it's time to go. You know, I don't ever I don't ever shy away from fights. You know, that's not me, you know, and uh, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to train hard and like I always do and and um, and put on a great performance. Uh, I've had the pleasure of seeing you fight twice live and uh I've noticed that you have a pretty brutal killer instinct. So how does a soft-spoken guy like yourself develop such a hardcore way to finish guys? You know, I think I think you have to have um, you gotta you gotta you gotta have you know you play a lot of roles in your life. You wear a lot of hats, you know. And and when I'm outside the cage, you know, I, I treat people how they how I feel they they want to be treated. You know, inside the cage, there's another hat that I wear, and that's you know, and the killer instinct comes out of me. You know, I'm a competitor. I'm a competitor at heart. And I'm always going to be, you know, but, you know, I hang that up on the shelf when I need to. So, you know, I've, I've done that throughout my whole life in wrestling. And now, you know, it translates really well into the cage. What kind of hat are you going to wear against Kendall Grove? Oh, man, a killer. <laughs> you know, um, you know, but, you know, he's going to do the same, you know. So we're going to like like we um, spoke to each other, you know, um, we actually Twitter messaged each other and we're going to 
put on sparks, man, in the cage, and you know we're gonna put on a great show. So it's gonna be a, a great fan-friendly uh, showing. So, what was that Twitter exchange like? Nasty, nice? What? No, man, it was great, man. He uh, he Twitter messaged me. He goes, uh, I respect you a lot. Have a safe training camp. We're gonna put on a great show. Take care. And I was like, dude, man, that's awesome. That's that's a lot of class. So I I Twitter messaged him back, and I was like. Likewise, bro. You know, I know we're going to put on a good show. It's going to be an honor to fight you. Um, you have a safe training camp as well. Take care as well. So, so, uh, so it's going to be good, man. And uh, you know, hey, it's you know, after after the fight, we can grab a drink together. You know, so it's going to be good. Mark Minos, uh, ambassador of the sport here. You know, that kind of sportsmanship. Thanks, man. Yeah, and that's what it's all about, man. It's that class, and and um, you know, we do, we do, we, we are fighters. You know, we, we exemplify that in the cage, but we show class outside the cage, man. That's what it's all about.